Hey, Devstro here, and the general would like to know how I feel I have grown as a painter in the past year. And so this is my video for him, demonstrating how I think I have grown as a painter. Well, in order to know how you got to where you got, you got to look up where you've been or, or something like that. So the model on the left here, this old tired-looking space marine, this is this is where I used to be. All right, this is this is the kind of work I was doing. Um, yeah, I got some highlighting in there. Look at the shoulder pad; you can totally see where the highlighting is. Uh, I'm using white, but it's just me putting white on the model. The bases. Look at that base. Whoa, goblin green dipped in flock. That was how I base stuff for years and years and years and years. Um, so. Where am I now? Some of these things are intertwined. Uh, for years, all I painted was GW stuff, 40K or fantasy. That was it. Um, I branched out, doing War Machine, doing Malifaux. I've started looking at other miniature lines. I feel that is sort of growing uh, as a painter, opening myself up to new things to try. Uh, Malifaux and War Machine come with these specialized bases. You can't just paint them goblin green and dip them in flock. Uh, they're recessed. So I had to kind of up my game with respect to what I'm doing with basing now. So I'm using sand, getting some dry brush in there, using some static grass to, to finish them off now. I know I still have room for improvement, but this is this is in the past 12 months I started, started doing my, my bases that way. Um, also gotten a lot better at painting white. Here painting white is just me putting white on the model. Uh, but I've come to realize that white is a tricky color to deal with. And that you can't just base coat it in white, you have to base coat it in something darker than white and then try and highlight up to the white that you want to get. So that's what I've done here on this uh, Menoth Choir guy, making the highlights white and using the Menoth white base and then the Menoth white highlight and then highlighting up to the Moro white. I still haven't learned how to properly photograph white, but um, he didn't say how we have improved as a, as a cameraman over the, the past year. So, uh, my, my, I've started using other techniques as well. Uh, on the doppelganger, I know you think he's probably seen her before. I picked up some art coat, gloss varnish to try and make her backside here look as though it is glistening and moist. And I've used that. And with the skin, I got some, learned how to use the mixing medium to just do really slow, uh, watered down highlights to give the, the skin just a, a, better, a better look to it there as well. Um, this is a side note on her. I usually do pupils. She actually had pupils at one time, uh, but after doing the pupils, it just it made her look more human, and I kind of like that weird alien evil look, so I took the pupils out. So, General, you asked for it. You want to see more of a, a close-up on the doppelganger. So, there you go. I do the 360, and there's my, my new technique of the, the art coat. So I think that's that's another way that I've, I've grown. Um, also, I think in order to grow, you got to sort of test yourself and, and challenge your limits. Step outside your your comfort zone. Um, so what I've done is I used to just sort of come up with my own scheme for things. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and do studio scheme. And, and paint what the studio painters do and see if I can match their colors and get an end product that looks like it. And that's what I was doing with my Menoth stuff is to try and match how someone else has done something instead of just saying, well, I don't know how to do what they did there. So I'll just kind of come up with my own thing. Um, that can, I think, push your comfort zone. And another thing that I've done is uh, with this doppelganger here, I don't play Malifaux. I mean, I'd, I'd like to maybe someday, but I bought this model and I didn't have the faction or anything that she goes with. I got it because she's a cool looking model and I wanted to paint it. Whereas in the past, I would sort of let the game um, and game rules and stuff dictate to me which models I was going to acquire and paint anymore. I just, I want to paint for painting and I don't really care what they do in the game or if I can use them. I just would, would like to sometimes see a model and say, yeah, that'd be nice to paint. So 
that is how I think I have grown as a painter in the past year. And thanks for watching and check out the general, uh, general Splatten if you haven't already. He's running a contest.